Hey guys, today we're going to be ranking all the white jerseys in the NBA. Every team's white association version uniform. So my most recent video was um, I ranked all the MLB team's home uniform, their white one. Today we're going to do white jerseys in the NBA. Um, so my next video might be like color MLB jerseys and then icon NBA jerseys. NBA jerseys. So the NBA in 2017, they released, uh, when Nike took over, they now every team has an association, which is their white, their icon, which is their main color jersey, their statement, which is just another color jersey. Sometimes it looks a lot different than their other ones. Sometimes it's the same style as icon and stuff, but, and every team's city jersey. So city jersey is something we'll definitely do. I don't know if we'll do every jersey, but I want to make some other videos in between, you know, but like. I don't have time to do multiple videos a week. I'm I meant to do um one video a week here in December. Um however I unfortunately didn't get one out last weekend, so um uh my most recent one was two weeks ago. But now let's just get into the rankings. I have them up on my phone here. I'm not gonna have like the number on the side of the screen like last time, but I will verbally tell you what number we're at. Um but yeah, I have it on a phone, just so that, um, and don't think I'm lazy, that I'm not putting the number on the screen, I had some free, um, I was on a seven day trial my last time, so that was special, because I probably could have an app that has numbers, I do, but we'll see if I feel like using it or not, I don't know, but yeah, I have it on my phone, not my phone, my brother's, because, um, I could truly tell you details about why I think that way and why I ranked every jersey where I did. Number 30, the worst white jersey in the NBA, the defending champion Toronto Raptors. So I didn't think so lowly of this video while they were winning stuff, which I'm glad I didn't because I don't like to see teams that look terrible on the court do well. I never thought of it as a good jersey by any means, but I didn't think of it as such a pitiful one. When I looked at it, the numbers are curved. The letters, I meant, sorry. Um, I like that small little thing on the side. It's just the worst one here. 29 is the Spurs. You know what I am? A very non-fan of this jersey, okay? Um, you know what? It has some sharpness to it. It does, but it's black and white. And personally, I unfortunately don't think that um, their logo as the U actually looks good. It's a good idea. But, hey, they have some stuff on the side better than I thought. But I don't know. It's not that good, I guess. Um, terrible. Number 28 is the Milwaukee Bucks. This jersey is absolutely atrocious. The weird font on it. And, um... Hey, I mean, Giannis obviously rocks this jersey, but uh, white guys don't. Um, imagine me wearing this jersey. Like, something's just messed up with, like, that bad font. The Bucks have, like, green. They are named the Bucks. They could incorporate brown, black, which they do on their black jersey, but they could do a lot better, man. Number 27 is a Jazz. I'm a pretty big fan of some Jazz stuff and the team, the Jazz. But this jersey, it's bad. You know why? Because that musical note as the J is absolutely atrocious. The O oh, Jazz. Yuck. Now, the green numbers are cool, and so is the little stripe on the side, but meh. Number 26, the Grizzlies. Now, the Grizzlies jerseys that are white have, like, nothing on them almost. However... If you're close enough, you could get a sense of it being pretty cool. The odd font on the Memphis. It's um, a terrible jersey, but there's something about it that doesn't put it at the very bottom for me. I want to apologize to the Spurs fans of the world because when I looked at your jersey more, I think you got the sense that I also thought it should have been higher, which I do. I feel like it should be above the Grizzlies for sure, right? kidding me right now um I'm sorry I mean it's not a good jersey however I don't know if I had a bad picture on my other phone or what but 
It's not good, but like, it's better than some of these other ones, man. Sorry, Spurs fan. Number 25, the pretty famous Bulls jersey. I've always had atrociously negative thoughts on this jersey. Um, but hey, it's better than some for sure. Not terrible. Uh, the Bulls is like, bleh, off the jersey. Kind of like this Yankees. Like, the way the Bulls is kind of written. But, um, I don't even know what to say. But you know what? It's the 25th best jersey on here. Now the Clippers. I always thought of the Clippers as having pretty good stuff before they went to this black and whiteness of this modern era here. However, this jersey is really terrible. Um, it doesn't have anything on the side. The red and blue is at least some good foundation colors, and the font has something to it. The terribleness, the only reason it's terrible, there's nothing on the freaking side. Um, just get some nice blue, maybe red, going on the sides, and you would be way up there, Clippers. Number 23 on this list is going to be these very odd Indiana Pacer jerseys. Now, there is some, some sharpness to the side, and if it's if you're looking from a close perspective, um, the front doesn't look too bad, um, and the back, you know, it's also pretty nice colors. However, if you're pretty far, the front looks like a mess. Number 22 is the only one of these white jerseys that I own, and that's the Brooklyn Nets white jersey. You know, I like when they wear these jerseys on the road, but in reality, it's boring compared to most of these jerseys. There's literally not much at all to say about these jerseys. I have a Kyrie one, but it says Brooklyn on it. I've always thought of it in a pretty light manner, but, um, meh. Now, number 21, these interesting pinstriped Orlando Magic jerseys. I've always thought of them in a bad way. However, when I look at them, Nice, nice, nice. They're pretty cool. Uh, the black thing down the side with um, the magic in a good font, you know? These are pretty good. Number 20, the pretty fancy New Orleans Pelicans jerseys. Now, it kind of surprises me that this is below this cluster of jerseys coming up in front of it. However, um, it just doesn't get the job done for me. Something has pretty nice colors. Uh, I mean, but the font, like, it's supposed to be nice, but it just doesn't get the job done for me. I don't know how to describe it. It's just my 20th favorite because it doesn't quite do it for me. Number 19, the Nuggets. This is one of my favorite teams in the NBA, but I've always thought of this jersey in a terrible light. However, um, because it just looks like red thrown on a navy and yellow team's jersey. However, if you look closely, there is yellow outlining the red. There is some pretty niceness the, the back of this jersey the back of this jersey is what keeps it afloat because i don't like the i don't really like the swerve neck if you know what i'm talking about but cool number 18 this is where these next three are a cluster here beginning here with the kings the white with the purple i, I like how you got the gray going on the side the font though it's very iffy I kind of think it's cool, but overall, it's block, and, like, it's not that good. I don't know. Um, not that great. This one's the most different out of the three, but it's 17 Mavs. Um, still pretty similar to the Kings. You got Dallas. Something I like about the Dallas on it. The Dallas, it looks pretty cool. I, I hate the neck. The neck is worse than the Kings and the one coming up. But, um how you got the navy and the blue incorporated well onto this jersey is why it's pretty cool number 16 is the suns they have fantastic colors and like it's a pretty boring jersey just because it says suns and that's a short word however um they have great colors and they have nice incorporation on the side there in the front uh, i think this would be a pretty cool jersey especially to like go to the beach with all right, we're at the midway point, so congratulations if your team has made the top half of white jerseys. However, I can't wait to, like, get into the non-white jersey, those type of videos, because these jerseys, like, they don't look bad right now because I'm so used to them, like, just looking at them, um, but even though, and they still look a bit cool, but um, then when I search, like, a color jersey, like, whoa, that navy thing is so cool. Number 15, white hot, the Miami Heat come in. I like the font a lot. I really do. Dark red is not a very good color, but the heat get it done here. 
the nice side panel with incorporating a little bit of black and their great gold yellow flame color. It's good. Number 14, a very unique one. It's the Wolves. These guys um have some really heat to this jersey. It's just that I don't completely love the design, but it is very fashionable. The Wolves, it's okay. It's okay. The back, fantastic. And I do think the up, the colors in the top, it's cool. The Timberwolves also have some, I think, white on the top in their navy jersey. So it's not the only jersey that they do this unique design on. Number 13, the very unique jersey of the Atlanta Hawks. Just casually with splattered tile on their white jersey. Now the tile thing, I would hate if every team had this. However... Uh, it's very cool for one team to have this. When the Hawks were back in the playoffs a few years ago, um, just their arena with wearing this jersey, everything was lit up. I like the, I think the font is pretty good. There's not a great outline, so meh. But uh, I do like the neon incorporation as well. Number 12, man, that's the Cavs. Very, very plain but very, very nice. I remember 2018 playoff days, LeBron wearing this jersey, carrying them by himself. When he would put on this jersey, it was just different, like James in that, that jersey, so like soft, but it's cool. Number 11, uh, the only one that's Jordan and not um Nike because Michael Jordan owns the Hornets. This jersey has incredible colors. The Hornets have, I'd say my favorite colors in the NBA. It's very, very nice. It's just that I don't get like, oh my god. It's just because, the, the only reason I don't feel that way is because it's the Hornets. And like, they're the Hornets. But, however, that is sick. Wow, that Hornets jersey probably deserves to be higher. But anyway, number 10, the LA Lakers. This is probably the worst Laker jersey, maybe. But it's their white jersey. Their, it was always their home Sunday white. They still wear it home Sundays. I think bring it on the road a little bit, maybe. I don't know, not sure. I think I saw them wear it on the road, but I don't know what else to say. It's white, it's nice, nice background with uh, for like purple lettering and gold outline. It's pretty cool. Ninth best is the Pistons. I don't know that this deserves to be over the Hornets, but that's just saying how good the Hornets is. This one is a very solid jersey as well. Red and blue are solid colors. I really enjoy the font there on the front. They have the side. They have the neck that I don't tend to like as much. I keep doing that Kenny Atkinson thing. Like how I was talking. Like, I don't know. Good Jersey Pistons. Number eight. A jersey I've gotten a bit sick of over time. However, I'm going to give it the respect it deserves because that's what I looked at when I looked at it. The White Warrior jersey. Um, It's beautiful. Like, who throws a big circle logo on their jersey? But they still include the team name, which I would have a problem with if they didn't. But gold and yellow, this is also one of my favorite color schemes in the NBA. The first time we tried to do this clip, I said something, like, really weird. But let's do this again. Seven is the Sixers. Now, when I first look at this, I thought it would be in the bottom half. But when I, I before I looked at it, I said that last time too. But when I looked at it, <laughs> this is the part where I tripped up on my words, but it's ridiculously hot, let's just say. Um, the stars on the side, the red outline on the filla, it is just lovely. I just hate it because I hate when the six years like bring this thing on the road and win in Brooklyn. So like it gives me bad vibes. However, it's really nice. I think if they still would do like where every team always wears their white jersey at home, I think it would be higher. But, I don't know, I, that's not what I'm ranking based off of, but, I don't know, it's really nice. It's very Number six, the Thunder. Now, they kind of redid a bit of stuff while they lost their stars this offseason. What they did was, um, they changed their white jersey to, from saying Thunder to now saying Oklahoma City. And their blue jersey from saying Oklahoma City to saying Thunder. Now, I personally think the ones that say Thun, mm, I don't know. I just think their white jerseys are their better jerseys. Because the light blue with the white, not white, the orange with the T 
hint of yellow. Thunder colors are definitely one of my favorite color schemes in the entire NBA. Very nice. Welcome to the top five where Portland comes in with a unique white jersey. Yeah, um, the Blazers, like, I don't love how, where it says Blazers. Mm. But, however, it's very good overall. Like, the stripe. It's, most people will tell you that this is a very, very good basketball jersey. Brand new in this season, the Rockets' new white jersey. Now, they were kind of like remodeling away from that weird Rockets font because they limited, really limited, the amount of times they wore their white and red original, like, themed jersey. And they brought out, like, a red jersey in this, like, font that you see on this white jersey and a black jersey of that in the past two seasons. And now they're completely in this new era of Rockets uniforms and stuff and this is really really eye-catching to me it's just a very great jersey it's one of those I can't totally describe to you but I love the font on the front where it says Rockets the red side panel white and red is a cool combination really gets the job done for number three the Celtics this is one that might be more hard to describe and you guys might not understand however the Celtics are one of basketball's biggest brands and the white with the green is just absolutely incredible to me I really should think about getting I don't know but Celtics are up there on my list of teams I would like a jersey from now I love their city jersey last year where it was white with uh, a green letters but with a yellow gold outline and it said Boston but this thing it's really not number two Wizards. They're known for having one of the sharpest jerseys, at least known to me, for having a great job with what they do with their jerseys. They have three jerseys looking like this. They're white, they're navy, and they're red. So they could just go to three different jerseys and still have the same overall concept. It's a great thing. Very sharp. When you have red up here rather than opposed to like the wolf navy, that is just better to still incorporate navy, incorporate all three of your colors like so much on your white jersey. It's just a great thing. We finally find ourselves at number one. They did something right, folks. It's the Knicks. They have the best white jersey in the NBA. They have the best arena in the NBA, yet they have the worst owner and the worst performances in the NBA. But this jersey, let's just get to the jersey, okay? All things aside, this jersey is fantastic. When the Knicks are good, people don't... I'm not too annoyed because this jersey is just so good. Like, it's white with orange. Like, actually, I love the incorporation of putting orange instead of blue as the main color and still having some blue on the jersey. It's a great thing, Knicks. Good job. I appreciate you all guys for watching this video. I talked pretty fast, and I guess I didn't talk too much today, even though it's 3.15, and um, I did go somewhere today, a couple places, but I don't know. My voice in this video was kind of weird. Like, I feel like it was always going to crack, and um, I even had to redo scenes a couple of times because it cracked, but it's just very deep in this video, and I also feel like clips like the time ticking so fast but um anyway i won't keep you here longer if you just tap that like button okay thank you so much guys for watching we'll have some more jersey rankings however i think our next jersey i meant video we're gonna not do a jersey ranking we're gonna do something holiday for you hopefully but we're not done with jersey rankings no definitely not but we may not do every single one. I think that we may, but maybe that's far away. Let's not He have a huge percent. Where I'm trying to focus on entire channelness. Like, more going on than just jersey rankings. But my next jersey ranking will probably be NBA City ones or Road Grays in the MLB. Not sure. Um, nah, Road Grays. That would be something if I just, like, want to finish the series of jersey rankings. But that's months away because I want to do other stuff on my channel. So that's what we'll have next time. See you guys. Thanks so much.